Alright, are aliens humans from the future? Maybe? <laughs> uh, the time machine thing happens again. There's this book that's called The Time Machine. It talks about, like, the jog through space. And how things change. And how people change. And how things change. And social norms change. To where it's either too aggressive or too soft. And it always bothers me a little bit. Like, you think about humans, you think humans are very, like, very dogma, you know, compared to um, aliens. You know, aliens are like a race of intelligent species that's kind of trying to size humans up or whatever. Feel like worms compared to them or whatever and it's kind of a weird scenario when you're presented with one and you feel a little bit smaller than you should as a human being strongest man in the world can feel intimidated um but anyway let's get to the cards we have the two of wands we have contemplation and date you have the Three of Wands with Seeking Direction and Partnership. We have faith, Faithfulness and Good News. Yes, Positive Results, Announcement, Loyalty, Generosity, Protection, um, Fidelity, Strong Values, and Good Intentions. We have Gift with a Donation, Present, Contributing awards the act of giving and receiving. We have a fortune. We have victory, satisfaction, guaranteed a sale. A miracle, give praise to all of your abundance. We have lucky streak. We have your dreams come true. We have inner riches. We have unexpressed talents. We have surprise, we have finding and recognition, and we have the six of wands, we have success and hot date. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we have golf clubs, we have breakup, separation, uh, resolution, sadness, grief, pain, infidelity, we have Loneliness, misery, the end of a relationship, moving on, hope, brighter future, staying friends. And then we have, uh, let's see, Limp Biscuit with Break Stuff. We have pause in a love relationship to introspection, self-understanding in love. We have solitude, we have distraction, we have deception, we have seems, seeming time alone, getting going on a retreat we have choosing between partners a cautious about a romantic decision psychic bonds many admirers affairs love rivals we have flirtation we have faithfulness we have hope for a new relationship we have a tiger lily health and pride Okay, so we have financially, things could be worse. Balancing decisions, pro uh, priorities. You will take a realistic look at your resources, adapting to change. You'll try to manage your life better. And then we have uh, the megaverse. That's kind of a weird one. That's <laughs> kind of out there. We have ancients. Uh, romantic life, picking up the pace, excitement, passion, surprises, and love, speeding, develops into a relationship, over-eager, rash, judgments, holiday romances, you could save your face and your ass at the same time. We have regeneration, 
of approximation. Yeah, approximation. Big long words. Um, is generous, practical, best of the best, good natured, creature comforts, good intentions based on reality, earthly, financial security. We have 700. We have absent father. We have overwhelmed. Duplicate balancing act. We have a lack of money, loss of balance, a lack of time, resources, disorganized, having nothing to spend on essentials. Okay, we have avoidance of conflict, being a pushover, extremes, overlooking the obvious. We have access, outside issues coming into the home, lack of balance. We have uh, the weekend with bright lights. Okay. Okay. We have Blink-182, the anthem. So getting what you want despite having bad motives. Confidence to go for what you want. Deception, attempt at a goal, trickery, tactics, and being outwitted. We have sacrifice, beliefs, that have to be examined as well as their religious views. We have billionaire. We have home and family. We have a parental figure. We have commute. We have illumination. And we have Jupiter here for some reason. Um, so this is exactly why these people tend to eat too much or spend too much as well as um, earn too much to be the way that is unrealistic about their own worth and prospects. Um, so the value of things they do and other compromises. Okay, so we have 60-60. We have creates magic, but also rules all poisonous and unexplored areas of life. We have money and value. We have the ability to pose for money or praise money. We have teeth. We have let your mother be, be the water to soothe your soul. Release anxiety by nourishing body and spirit open your heart to let your intuition flow we have astronaut and then we have um, having to wait a long time lack of rewards not seeing returns overnight work without results distraction requires more patience than most people have we have romantic so what I'm getting from this is it's either <laughs> like aliens are curious about human beings or human beings are curious about aliens and one of the two are gonna try to breed with the other one for, for whatever reason. Or it's a science experiment gone awry where it's human DNA and alien DNA being blended together to make this alien that we've seen around a lot. Um, there is hints of this type of engineering. I call it bastard engineering because it's like there's no sex involved. It's just like smash these two embryos together and it makes a, another embryo completely. Um... It was like that with the Roswell, the, the little coffins, the alien invasion in uh, Las Vegas. Um, it, it's just a weird... It's a weird area of um, gray matter <laughs> to think about. Like, you, you're thinking alien future human or alien human relations that produce that end result so it, it depends how you feel about it with me 
I don't like bastard science. There was a point in bastard science where there was like this guy that made gnomes from his own DNA and his chicken's DNA and smashed those two together and made tiny gnomes that didn't know if they were people or chickens. Um, some of them got really smart and decided to like, um, cause a mutiny <laughs> amongst each other, you know, that type of thing. It's very, um, what you call travels or whatever. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's one of those things. Ancient Egyptians used to do that a lot with animals. Like, there used to be basic animals here, like a horse and a whale, and then they mix those two together make like a centaur or mermaid or whatever um i don't know i don't know the science of that but they had it down to um what could be bred together and what couldn't be bred together because of like the offspring would have problems or whatever but yeah it's that type of thing as well so if, if it's if it's able to happen it will happen um so, it, it could be the future aliens, I don't know. It's a very interesting thing to think about, but at the same time, it's like, do we really want to think that far into the future? With something that could just happen tomorrow, you know what I mean? Like, alien, human, get the embryos, just put them together, and make something new. But, um, you know, it's... It's a weird thing. Anyway, hopefully this helps you um, maybe have some nightmares. Um, some people don't like science, so, um, you know, I'm one of those people that likes to think outside the box as far as tarot card reading goes and science. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's too far in the future, but I do think that that type of thing is happening now, maybe, with a lot of different lines of government. I feel like that might be in the making very soon. Um, whatever mm. happens, it's gonna happen, so I'm not really too worried about it. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. You take care of yourselves. Um, I love how I introduce this as replacing a hook, hooking up. Anyway, I will see you later. Take care of yourselves, take care of everyone, and I will see you later.